It's just seven years since the public first experienced cinema in London. But this shot is not black and white, as you might expect. It's not been toned, it's not been tinted, it's not been hand-coloured. It's in natural colour photograph that way. It comes from the National Media Museum collection, and its recent discovery prompted a programme of restoration and research, which enables you to see this film for the very first time. The National Media Museum had this film in their collection, and it's the Lee Turner colour process, although the film looks in black and white. It's a non-standard size film, so it wouldn't run on a modern projector, uh, so it had to be copied, which we did. Each frame is very slightly different to look at because in those black and white pictures is colour. The frames were taken through colour filters, red, blue and green. You can work out which one was taken through the red filter, one, which one through the blue and which one through the green. As but long as you know the colours in the film. As long as you know the colours in the film, that's correct. We were helped a little bit because Mr Turner had already marked up the film, uh, as you can see here, there's a blue frame, a green frame in the middle, and a red frame there. And our job was to try and restore it with those colours back in. Because the film is non-standard, we had to copy it onto standard 35mm film. And again, because it was non-standard, we had to build a gate in order to do this. And the technique was that we took the film, it was placed in the gate, and the some little round pins here called register pins which hold the film in position. We would lock the film in to the gate in position and then on an optical printer which consists of a camera and a projector we photograph that frame. We then had to open the gate, lift the frame and move it to the next one. When we were photographing it we didn't know what the result was until the film had been processed. So we might spend a whole day at 25 frames an hour and when it comes back it might not have been any good. But it's lovely to see them in colour. It's really worth it. Yes, that's the main thing. Having scanned the film, we then took the digital files down to a company in London called Prime Focus. And they took the digital files and used their digital editing software to take the red, a red frame, a green frame and a blue frame and combine them together to give us our colour frame. It was important that we use the technique that Turner had used in his projector, that is taking frames one, two and three, and then taking two, three, four, three, four, five and so on. It was quite important for us to produce the result and also to verify that Turner's system did actually work. Well, Edward Raymond Turner was born in 1873 in Cleveland, Somerset. From the age of 15, he was a photographer working at various photographic studios around London. His, his work with Frederick Ives and the Photochromoscope Syndicate is absolutely crucial to this because he learns there how to separate colours into red, green and blue separations. And he obviously starts to understand the chemistry of it. The girl on swing is, at least we think she is, Agnes May Turner. Uh, who would have been about six at the time. I think it's probably taken around the same time as uh, Turner made a shot of his three other children. She's wearing the same outfits. We think that it's most likely that it was shot in the back garden of the house he lived in in Hounslow. It's a long, thin garden. In the background you've got a fence, a pretty substantial fence, and if you go there today, there is again a substantial fence. This piece of film has been in our collection for 75 years and no one really has done anything with it and it had to wait until now when we actually had the means to do it someone could have thrown it in the bin 100 years ago we would have never known that these films exist now we have them and now we can see them a little bit of history has been rewritten